So I put no, up a stat. If you live, if you live in Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Montana, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, and Utah, then you need to look at those laws if you're going to be housing a woman and a kid. Even if you ain't married to her, even if she's just your girlfriend, bro. If she's a girlfriend, she got kids in there, uh, they will enforce common law marriage on you. And then whenever y'all separate, then they're going to go through the procedures of uh, child custody, uh, child support, spouse, all of those things as if y'all were actually legally married. Um, and it's, I, it's, it's very admirable also to, to you know, be a provider and a protector and taking care of the kids that's not biologically yours. But that extra step... <laughs> That extra step of going and putting your name on the paper and all that to me, me that's like the, not it's necessary. just not it it's just yet. don't make sense. And there's no need for it if you are present, very much present right. in the home, yeah. and you you put in the house and the roof and everything over their head. You at the soccer game. You're doing everything. Yeah. There mm-hmm. is no need. There's no need for it. It's, it's added. Well, it's well added. like I said it before, you're not required. In, in a lot of cases, you're not even required to even put your name on it. It's That's just it. the law. If you sit, if you're sitting in this house and you banging around and you taking care of kids in and out of the house, and you're you're living in there, it's just inevitable that you're going to be responsible for those kids That's by true. the law. That's not true. A majority it, of now, adoption is it? Are you responsible for because adoption and is it? I, I don't know these states where you're just. There's only one. On, there's it depends on, on, on the jurisdiction. How long, that. There's only how, one state where a child, where living with a child, makes them yours. There's only one state. I think it might be Maryland or something over there. It's one of those. Let me look it up real states. quick. But in most states, you need to adopt that child for them to be legally respond for you to be legally responsible for them. Oh, okay. I don't think in any state without adoption are you Is legally it, responsible for taking care of a child, except for like one state. So I was going to say that um, I think as stepfathers, you already have a lot of rights. Um, One of the rights you have is that you could claim them on your taxes. Um, And then you are responsible to be the father figure in their life, Um, to go the extra mile if their biological father is deceased or, you know, locked up to where their um, biological parent can't be physical in their life and you want to take that step, then I think that's cool. But if the father is there, even if he's not always present, you know, he's in and out, I believe that you're like taking the lineage from the child by putting your name on this child that does not belong to you. So if the if the child is, is tied to a certain surname, then that child should have that name and learn their family if the family is present and there. Once you take it away, it's kind of like you're, in my opinion, being disrespectful to the child's family. You want to make sure that the child has the best interest, not you have the best interest. You already got the rights, so stay in your lane with that. Everything else after that, if it's not tragic, just let it be. Be there as you already are. Um, You said you wanted to marry the lady with kids. Cool. That's what's up. Be there because the kids need it. But to take it to the extra mile is kind of um it's just dumb to do be ego boosting to me because you're like, well, I'm here, yeah. I got this, this is my house, these are my kids, because I'm taking care of it, which is cool. But damn, he still has a father. This fa- this person still has a grandfather, you know what I'm saying? It still goes back and you know in their lineage. So I, I just say don't do it. All right, so I put yeah. up the stat. If you live if you live in Colorado. Iowa, Kansas, Montana, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, and Utah. And you need to look at those laws if you're going to be housing a woman and a kid. Even if you ain't married to her. Even if she's just your girlfriend, bro. If she's a girlfriend, she got kids in there, uh, they will enforce common law marriage on you. And then whenever y'all separate, then they're going to go through the procedures of uh, child custody, uh, child support, spouse, all of those things as if y'all were actually legally married. According to those states, that's that is only, the law. That's only yeah. if that's only if um, the parent, the original parent, isn't on the on the birth certificate. Like, if as long as there's an original parent, so if she has a birth certificate and knows that there's another father involved, until you adopt that child, yeah, you are not. So yeah, that's obligated. obvious. If another and man no is already taking, taking care of the kid, then yeah, they're not going to. You don't even have to be taking care of him. He could just be on the birth certificate as long as there is. Well, he's obviously I mean, he's obviously being paid, uh, having to pay child support and 
I not mean, hypothetically. No, he doesn't. And okay. you still, even because I live in Texas and, and we were, and be real with y'all, I was at that thing, you know what I mean? Thinking about adopting my daughter. Um, and part of that law is that we even have to get his permission for me to even do it. Hmm. And he is that. not in her life whatsoever. Right. So if if there's no if no name was on a birth certificate, then these things apply. You need no, to be even then, I think you would still have to adopt a child in order for it. Like they Texas, at least in Texas, and you because you mentioned Texas. At yeah, least Texas. in Texas, they are very strict about that. You have to adopt. Otherwise, okay. they're gonna go out and find a real father. Well, those are the states oh, that oh, are you have to adopt what? What you gotta get to the last uh topic. Uh Casey, I know you didn't go. Do you have anything real quick on this? None. Five, yeah, I've been married to my wife. I've been married and been with my wife for at least 10, 12 years, bro. So, yes, I definitely contemplated. I have a uh, question <laughs> for you, Queenie. So, what's wrong, with, what's wrong with them finding the real father if if the child is obligated to know exactly. their biological parent? No, I didn't say there was father. anything wrong with that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't say there was anything wrong. I said that they, they're they going the state is going to go find the real father. They're not, they're going to look at you, they're going to do the DNA test. Or whatever, because if you contest it, because obviously if you're in a marriage and she tries to put you on child support, you're going to contest it. So the moment you contest it, and then they're going to do the DNA test, find out you're not the father, and then they're going to try to go after the biological father for child support. Now, if you don't contest it, and you have a divorce with a woman in that state, they're going to assume that the children are yours. But the moment you contest and say, I'm not the I, I'm not the father of them kids. Yeah, we've been together, but hey, those kids was there before I got there. They're going to then be like, okay, well, let's do a DNA test. And then they're going to go and go after the actual father. Yeah, that's wild. All right, let's get to these super chats. I reject your reality. $10. It's not a man's job to make a woman happy. She should already be or know what makes her happy. He can either add to that facts. or give her the space to do those things. Same with the man's piece. All facts. Like auto. Young men, listen. She trash talking. Men run. Miss Parker, $2. Hey, chat and viewers, please hit the like. Thank you. Yes, the likes are disrespectful. Please get those likes up right now. Me University, $2. Way above par femininity, graceful panel. Ladies, salute to y'all. Just me, $10. Men say they hold the key to relationships and marriage. If you chose that woman and adopted that kid, is that on you? Are they thinking with the wrong head? Where that baby pappy at kid might Need a kidney one day. Stop right there, Trigger, real quick. And that's yep. exactly my point. All these women told tell us, hey, once you sign those papers, all of a sudden you need to lay in that bed. But when they sign the papers for marriage, which tells you till death do you part, you're not supposed to come over to back to us and get a divorce. They all of a sudden like, oh, no, you should be able to walk away. You should be able to leave. But a man can't leave children that he that he no longer wants to take care of that's not his. Sweeney, you got to remember, women... Women are women are children, bro. 